Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be working on a card. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you the heart punches that I have. And where do I store everything that I tend to punch out. So, these are the heart punches that I have. And I'm going to be reordering this style of heart. And I'll explain why. Okay, it's called a primitive heart. It's a little bit wonky, I guess. I don't know. It's a smaller size on a smaller side um, here and the taller one on that side um, instead of this one that is just rounded evenly. Okay, that's the difference on that one right there. Smaller on one side than the other. Um, and these are some of my little punches okay um please forgive me there is a really bad thunderstorm out now this is from the dollar store and this one as well and this container is from harbor freight these are running i think it's either 6.99 or 7.99 these have these tiny containers in the inside and as you can see I have um, different heart sizes punched out already here so we'll be making a card and you will need four hearts okay two hearts, regular hearts, and two primitive hearts. You will need a circle punch. Oh, um, let me see the size on this one. It says one and three fourths. So I'm thinking you can use a two inch if you want or one and a half inch punch but it's the I, to me I consider it's the biggest punch of circle punch that you can get um, and let me show you the size of it like that so you can have an idea okay my dear friends compared to this one see so you're gonna use this one. All right, I'm gonna put this away and then I'll be right back. Okay, friends, before we do our card, I'm going to take this and do and paint with watercolors a background, okay? This is three and three eighths. You could cut it at three and a half. And then this would be four and just a little over four and a half will be like four and 11 16. That's the size of the one. Um, this is a craft, regular craft card. This is the base, and then this is gonna be the one, and then this one is gonna go on top of it. I'm trying to... So that's how it's gonna look. So let's do this one. What I wanna do is I wanna mimic this. I have these stamps. Okay. This is supposed to be the tree and this is supposed to be the leaves and then you just go ahead and put acrylic paint on them and then you do acrylic once you've done this and acrylic and that way you make a tree by doing that layout um laying it on top of the other one but i'm not going to do that first i'm going to do my sky um i have my maya watercolor palette here 
and for my sky I'm gonna use um, this one right here um, just a little bit and I'm gonna just dilute it as much as I can I don't want it too bright let's do the sky Now we don't have watercolor at all in any palettes or anything like that. The inexpensive ones from the Dollar Tree can also work. Um, you want to substitute it? You can just go ahead. And if you have um, scrapbooking paper, anything that has a very light blue can work. So I did my first one and now I'm going to just put just a dab of my blue here because I want it to, the blue to stand out a little bit. There you go. Now I'm going to pick up. pick up there you go now I'm gonna go for the floor or the ground and I'm gonna use this one right here and it's just gonna be a little bit way at the bottom right here way at the bottom i don't know if you guys can see that way at the bottom just down here just a little bit not a lot and i'm gonna do two greens i'm gonna start with this one it's like a lime green from the sky and then I just want to cover the whole thing as much as I can but remember it does not have to be perfect okay this is not about perfection this is about having a good time okay as you can see by the time I was done with the brown the blue already dried up which is a good thing um, but I don't want to be waiting forever so I'm just gonna dry this really quick this is real time Okay, my friends, I'm sorry if you don't like the noise, but there you go, that's dried. And now I'm just gonna go with a little bit of a darker green, which is this one. Usually this one tends to be my favorite color right here. And I'm just gonna go a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit to stand out. I'm gonna dry it again. That's it. So right now, 
I have the base done. I have my blue skies. I have the green grass. And I had a little bit right here of dirt. All right. So now I'm going to take a really fine brush. And this one is number zero from Master's Touch. It says round. This one is also, I think it's also zero. Yes. Okay, but I like the handle on this one. Okay. And we're going to try to mimic this. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. And I just want to let you know, I said I am no artist. Um, so if it doesn't work out, I'll just start all over. And you'll see a new video again. But let's see if this works. So I'm going to do my tree is going to be off centered. So, um, hopefully you guys can see me. Okay. There you go. I'm taking a darker brown. And let's see if I can just do these look to do's branches. <laughs> I feel like this is fun. Like I said, I'm no artist, but um to me this is so much fun. So this one would be my big one here. And then this one comes off from here and then loops up. And then I need one more, which would be, and as you can see, it's going to go down and loop and loop. So, you don't have the stamp. It's okay. Just recreate it. Have fun. Just recreate it. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. I mean, this is cute. Mine's is off center because I need it to be off center because of um, the one element that I'm placing there. Um, so it's not perfect, but you get the idea. I mean, it would have been nice to put it right in the center, but I don't want it to be in the center because I'm going to place something right here. And so now we can, we're gonna have to wait a little bit for this one to dry. So that way we can start on the leaves. Okay, my friends, so we'll be right back. So now I think that the leaves are gonna go 
this color because that's what it seems to me like it's going to be like a really dark green and I guess it'll just stand out out of my design here that I'm making so let's see what happens wish me luck <laughs> okay so it looks like it's a little stick and then like a I guess like a teardrop let's see a little stick and then a teardrop A stick and a teardrop so a stick and we're just gonna repeat this until we're happy with the results or to fill as much as I can my uh, tree So I hope you're all doing well. And that um, that you find ways to entertain yourself. Um, keep your mind of all the stuff that's going around the world. Um, I'll be honest, if there is um, a lot of people that has um, a hobby that won't cost you a lot of money, it would be painting when it comes to just watercolor. If you want to start into a hobby, you just get an inexpensive watercolor palette and just go from there. Um... I've said it before, it's just a, a way of finding a source to keep your mind occupied. And I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it's taking shape. And this is just really easy to do. I mean, as you can see, they, these are like basic, normal, I don't know what to call it, easy shapes. Very easy shapes. The thunderstorm did um, lasted only like five minutes and it was gone thank goodness if we got some rain I don't complain because it seems like it hasn't been here forever and I used to live in Puerto Rico in May it was the most rainiest day of the season and uh, here has been at least this year has been extremely dry um, our grass looks like it's all burnt up looks really sad so what I'm doing is I'm trying to fill up the empty spots to fill in my tiny tree um, uh, let's see 
I don't want it to look too plain. So what do y'all think? You think it looks okay? You think it's easy for you guys to mimic it? I mean, this is me thinking out of the box. I want you to see it this way. It's like I'm crafting with you and I have 20 people with me and then all of a sudden everybody wants to be and share this stamp. I don't have 20 stamps. But I can share the idea of trying to mimic it or copy it in some sort of way. I think this is taking shape. It's going to look different, obviously, because this is one that I painted. Um, but that's the joy of it because you did it. Like, you say, I did this, you know. It's going to look cuter than a Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> it will look cuter. And at the end of the day, you took time to do something crafty. And take your mind out of issues. Is always around because the news lately it's sad it truly is sad that you can barely hear anything nice in the news so a small brush I would recommend a small brush for little details a double one I think I like that I like that a lot so let's do it again let's see if I can just do it again okay looking good looking good i'm getting really excited about this what do y'all think look at that it's just a tiny little tree I'm going to put a little bit of this lime green. Let me see if I, how it's going to look. You know, like when you want to highlight some of the leaves a little bit. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think it shows much. Maybe when it dries? Don't know. Maybe I'll just do a lime one first, a lime green first, and let's see if what go, what happens from there. Doing it backwards, just putting a little bit of the lime one, and then I just want to fill as much as I can my little tree. It might work. It looks good. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I'm going to teach you is how to make the design or the embellishment that we're going to place on the card that I painted. So you're going to grab either a two inch circle and I don't have a circle punch this size, but I have this tool that had different diameter. I have this for years and the highest that I have with this 
old creative memories punch is one and a half that's the biggest one okay so what i do is i'm going to teach you how i did my embellishment okay i'm going to grab this size which is my one and a half okay and then you're going to fold it but you're not going to fold it all the way level you're going to just fold it like that this is how much you're going to leave and you're going to fold it then take a bone folder or your own scissors and give it a good creasing right there like that I have tiny miniature googly eyes okay and you're gonna need four hearts now the primitive heart that I want is this one the one that has that funky size which is a smaller size and then a bigger size and this is going to be for the comb and you're going to place it behind it just like that so we're going to glue it a little bit just make sure that I can actually grab it without getting it all oh, here I'm just gonna glue it and it's gonna go like that this is the comb that funky heart is the comb now what I discovered doing this is that you can actually do your beak this is a circle that I cut in half and then I'm going to cut it again in half like that and then I'm going to show you what you're going to do with this but this you're going to cut this in half whoop there goes that one you're gonna need this and then the other half I'm just gonna cut a little bit a tiny sliver just like this see that that's my beak right there that's the beak so I'm gonna put it here and then put a little bit of that glue okay and then I'm going to take the beak and I'm going to place it the rounded side in and that way the pointy side comes out like this so there you go now we have comb and beak now we want the waddle this is the reason why the little primitive hearts works very well you want, you want the waddle part so you take that primitive heart you're going to cut it in half you take the glue Take the glue. Got it all over my fingers now. Ay, ay, ay. Lord have mercy. And you're going to place it right under it. It's hidden right there. Now, you don't want to glue this part until the, the end because you want to be able to place all your little pieces there. Okay? now you remember that little piece of pie that we cut in half now we have two slices of pie these are the feet um let me just take this and see if i can
call it my little sexy chicken. You put one underneath the, the wing, okay? Like that. And then the other one, you want to make it look like she's walking. So, uh, the only difficulty about this is that the little piece, the pieces are, you know, like really tiny. And then I'm, my nails are long. There. See that? And then... You can lift the flap up. Take this. The glue, place it down. Now, why did I say I needed four hearts? So you need one for the wing. And I'm placing I think I'm going to place this one here like that. See that? These, because I didn't have a big a punch like this big, I cut it myself. So don't let that stop you from not doing a chicken. Just cut it yourself. Um, that's my wing. Whoop. That's my beautiful Gajinita. There. Take all this out. Just going to take time for her to glue it down. And the fourth part is going to go for the feather tail right here. So... I am going to take this one that I also cut myself and I'm just going to plane it behind and placing it behind it just like that. And that's going to be the chicken. We started with a circle. We end up with a chicken. And of course, my chicken has to see where she's going to be placed at. And so I'm going to put a googly, 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 googly eye, just a cute googly eye on it. Voila. There you go, my friends. That is my chicken. So this is not glued, okay? This part is not glued. So, but this is how it's going to look like, like that. I'm thinking about doing this to it for the next chicken like you know like slicing like the chickens the heart but I'm giving it like that, that textured the feather textured to it not you can't see it but it's there you can see that it's got a little bit of dimension and this is the end result This is the card that I made. Oops, sorry guys. I'm trying to show you my my card. Let me see. That's the end result right there. Watercolor backgrounds. I colored this. You saw me do it. And I created that chicken. I love the googly eye. My husband loved it. Um, my daughter was more impressed with the tree. She said the chicken looks kind of sexy. So <laughs> that's why I'm calling it my little sexy chicken. Um, so yes, four hearts. One of them you're going to cut in half. One for the comb. One for the tail. One for the feathers for the wing. There you go. All right, my friends. And that is today's card. Thank you so much for watching. Please like subscribe comment tell me if you're gonna try this um it's a playful card um it's not for everybody i guess because it's not a fancy 
card but it's something that i'm pretty sure someone will appreciate and you know question you whether you did that and how did you come up with that idea so there you go make your own a whole bunch of little chickens which is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have a few of these and then i'll have them ready for any other cards that i come up with um there you go my friends take care god bless love you guys thank you so much um, my channel has reached uh 250 subscribers thank you all i appreciate you all i bless you all in jesus name you take care thanks so much bye god bless